Uh, just a quick video to um, show you the operation of the expression encoder. Uh, I've assumed that you've already installed it and installed the key. And after that, it's a pretty straightforward process. Just let's fire up the encoder, go to Microsoft Expression, Expression Encoder, fires up, choose Live Broadcast. Now, it is telling me that the hotkey is not registered because I'm using the cap the screen capture software but anyway you're in once you're in you're gonna select you're gonna add a live source your, your sources tabs are on the side right here okay so you're gonna add a live source okay there you go that's your live source right now there's nothing associated with it you can either use a video device or an audio device Select the audio device that is hooked up to your mixer or whatever it is that you're using. Um, in my case, I would use a line in input to my computer. All right, and as you see, the bar, the little green bar there, is showing volume because that's I have, I have that hooked up to my radio. All right, so um, you don't want to choose a video device because we're making um, audio only broadcast. All right, next step. You want to choose the output format should be Windows Media. You're gonna untick video because all we want is audio. Remember, we're gonna use WMA. All right, and our audio should be at 96 bit rate. Stereo either 48 or 44 will for, uh, 48 um, kilohertz or 44.1 really doesn't make a difference because that's a that's a high high bit rate sampling and I'm assuming that your line input is just uh, it's an analog line so it's not even gonna pick up the whole the whole deal so you could really get away with using 44.1 on the bit rate side you need to use 96 alright because that creates a nice uh, small file that still sounds good if you're choosing 320 the sound quality is going to be a little tiny bit better, but you're going to, you're going to force your your uh, clients, your 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 audience to to use bit bigger bit rate. And if they have a slow connection, they're going to um, buffer, and it's going to it creates all sorts of problems. And the file is is really big that comes out. So 96 is the optimal one that you should be using. Okay, it sounds good, and it's a good size, and it, it's perfect for streaming. All right. Next, you're gonna go to the metadata tab. Here's where you're gonna put your, t, you know, your uh, show, like my DJ show or whatever it is that that you name it. And then DJ me would be whatever your name is or whatever. And um, copyright rate. You didn't need to fill in any of that stuff, but you know, it, you could if you want. If, especially if you're gonna save that file on, on your system and you wanna. You want to put the date or whatever it is that you're that you're doing. Next, you go to the output tab. You're gonna use publishing point, and here you're gonna you're gonna do the server that you're transmitting to, or whatever it is, either Soulful Vibe or Cyber Jams or whatever it is that um, that we're we're doing. So let me open up Notepad. All right. So say the server is located at soulfulvibe.com what is it wm.soulfulvibe.com so then you would use http wm.soulfulvibe.com colon 8080 and then your publishing point whatever it is that you're using as a publishing point okay it has to be in that format because there's no there's no line where to put a port or any of that stuff. It all goes in one in one line. So in my case, my server is already. I use it, my server is on the network, so I call it server two. The port is eighty eighty, and my publishing point is cam one. But I could stream in the, the these are these are actual. They're um. They're production publishing points. They're in use, so I'm not going to use those. I'm using Cam One, which is a test one that I use. All right. So next thing you know, um, next thing you do is going to hit the connect button. All right, and it'll give you a login login dialog where you put in your user and pass. You hit OK. Put your remember pass. There you 
Yep. And if you connected correctly, then you get that green light. That means you're connected, but you're not you're not streaming yet. All right. So you're you're successfully connected onto the network, onto the encoder. You're actually reserving that publishing point. While you're connected, no one else can connect into there. So if you're done with your show, you have to disconnect. You have to click that button and then let it turn yellow or whatever. That means you're disconnected. But anyway, now once you're connected, you're ready to start encoding. So what you do is you hit the start button. And as you can see, it says the begin live encoding session. That'll get your show broadcasting. And that should that should get everything um, going into the right the right encoders and everything up on the server. All right. So when once you finish it, you hit that button. It's gonna say stop, and then it'll stop broadcasting. And you come up here and disconnect. Where is it? It's still connecting me. There it is. It should have disconnected me, but um, I don't know. I guess that's a bug someplace. But anyway, in any case, what you want to do now is you want to save this job. You want to save it as whatever name you give it, and just make sure you you see where where it's going to be saved to. As you can see, I've 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 made some other test. Uh, publishing points that go right into that folder expression recorded jobs and then once they're saved you can come back and double click them and it'll fire up the encoder with all these settings that you just put in so there's no need to lose your settings or anything alright that's it um, once you finished everything you saved your session and everything just shut down the encoder that should disconnect you from the network and allow the next person to come in alright that's it